welcome back, Larry, Larry's Fountain Pens, and I'll be your host today, and we're going to be talking about the Visconti Magma, the brand new fountain pen that just recently has been uh, put out by Visconti, and a remarkable fountain pen to say the least. Uh, I do have the uh, previous one, the uh, bronze, uh, which I just fell in love with, with the nib and the whole pen, just the, the whole thing. So here we go with the Visconti, the newest one on the line, the Magma. All right, comes in a cardboard sleeve. A uh, little bit different than their previous pen cases presentation, but that's okay because I rather pay less for a pen case and get a better deal on a fountain pen. So we'll pull that right out of there. Again, you know, Vance County has their nice logo there on top. And on the cardboard box as well. It's a firm cardboard box, real sturdy, durable. So we'll take the cover off and this is what's inside. You get your card. Uh, brochure tells you about the pens and the warranties and uh, again it comes in a nice kind of a firm kind of a bunch type bed it lays in real secure with the fence on and there's there's nothing underneath because you don't need anything else and where's the pen wow here is this remarkable beautiful fountain pen you know, when this pen came out and I saw what the trim was and the black, to me, it just popped and it had my name on it. So, you know, I got it. Let's close this up so we can talk about this fountain pen. What a fountain pen it is. So, uh, first of all, I'll get Mr. Announcer to participate. The body material is... Uh, basaltic lava. There you go. And the length of the pen as you see it capped. The uh, overall length is 5.7 inches. And if you wish to post it... 6.8 inches. And that's if, you know, it will post securely. So, and I'll get into more than that in a few. And the weight of the pen... 43 grams. So there you have it. Those are dimensions and the weights and all that cool stuff. Now the nib size of this pen, you can get it at fine, fine, medium, broad, 1.3 stub. Uh, let's talk about this beautiful pen. Uh, it has the traditional uh, clip on it with this conti. Uh, done on both sides. Looks like it's more done like enamel, but I do like that red uh, they did on the uh, Visconti name there. Logo is really nice. Uh, um, at the middle of the clip, it has like double rings or bands, if you call it, uh, and they're really nice. I, I like that red with the black. It just pops, and at the top of the cap, it has the on the finial there, it has the Visconti logo, and you can use the uh, My Pen system to change that out if you wish. Uh, right here at the uh, middle of the pen on the barrel, you have the Homo Sapien, very pronounced, well done, engraved in beautiful white, and that over the red with a V for Visconti, just a really remarkable fountain pen. And you go down the barrel, and you have another red ring around there as well, and nothing on the end. I, I do have the pen inked up with some ink, so uh, we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, and I've been using it for a while. And uh, let's talk more about this beautiful pen. You know, it comes with a Dream Touch 23K 
palladium nib and, and, and the nib on this pen for me is to die for. I love it. Uh, I found this pen to be very smooth, wet, very enjoyable to write with. Now the red trim that you see on the pen symbolizes the eruption of the molto, molten lava through the volcano passageways. And it has this glossy metal red trim that gives that fiery contrast against this beautiful matte black lava of the pen body. It just really, it's a great combination with the red and black. And also it has that famous, what I call famous, which I really like, is the Visconti hook safe lock. That's really in there nice. So your 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 cap is going to be on there, locked in, safe, sound, secure, without worrying about the cap accidentally unscrewing in your pocket or leaking. All that's going to be taken care of with this. The Homo Sapien Magna fountain pen uh, filling system is. Uh, they have their own patent Vesconti power filler system, which is made of titanium to resist the ink corrosion, which is cool, and enhanced with a Vesconti 23K Palladium Dream Touch Black Ruthenium Nib. Beautiful nib. It really is a beauty of a nib. And uh, the nib I chose on this pen is a medium. Virtually unbreakable, high degree of resilience, flame flame proof, heat resistant to heat over 100 centigrade or Celsius. Sorry, Celsius, right? So it absorbs moisture during the use and dents to the touch with a comfortable grip, and with a comfortable grip more gives you more of a relaxed writing so this pen really and I'm serious is one heck of a fountain pen that I've truly enjoyed and uh, I'm you know I'm glad I got the pen that's just all there is to it so why don't we get ready and we're gonna do a writing sample and I'll do a quote uh, and hopefully the ink will last while I'm doing this and let's get everything ready here today is pin day review so you may see me wearing the same shirt but that's okay it's clean alrighty so here we go and I am not going to post the pin and the quote of today is going to be That's my fault. Because we're kind of crowded here, aren't we?
Okay, I will read you the quote, and Mr. Announcer will tell you who wrote the quote. Success is not the key to happiness. Happiness is the key to success. If you're in love with what you are doing, you will be successful. So, if you are in love of what you're doing, whatever it is you're doing, then they're saying you will be successful. And that's by... Albert Schweitzer. Right, for Alberto. So... Now we'll do some more writing. All right. Now, ink I'm using is, get this out here, And we'll do a few little S's. And we'll do the wetness test. That's real important. Nice and wet. In reverse writing. And there is no problem for this puppy to write reverse writing all day long. You can get a fine uh, line out of this pen. So, what do you think about this pen? Be civil with your comments. For me, it's for sure a thumbs up. A great fountain pen. Um, the price... Well, it's kind of a mid-range, higher-end pin, but well worth the money. Uh, and I'm glad I purchased this pin. And I've been using this pin for a while. I've just been having an enjoyable time writing with this fountain pen. Well, that's going to end this video. Uh, if you found the video interesting, hey, don't forget to hit that like button. And don't forget to hit on that little bell that's going to notify you when I <laughs> load up some more pins. Because that's what we do. That's what we enjoy. That's who we are. We're pin enthusiasts. We're pin geeks. However you want to word it. We love fountain pens. Right? Right. God bless you. Have a great day. And remember, my good friends, don't text and drive. I'll see you on the next video. Later.